Hey everyone, Nicola Light here, remembering you back into your own light. I hope you're all well um, and surviving, surviving through your ascension, especially with these amazing, amazing energies that are ramping up, ramping up, ramping up. So what am I going to be speaking about today? Sakta the words I'm getting really very strongly is the words of the quantum entanglement. Okay. It is our perceived idea of where we are at is from a point of focus. There's a playlist on that on my channel, so go check that out. I'll see if I can put the link up. But it's all about the understanding of the quantum field. It is far beyond the mind that we perceive ourselves to be so much more than this reality and that our mind perceives ourselves to be in physicality within our physical body uh, through our understanding with our senses, our physical senses, our sight, our hearing, etc. Okay. It is for the mind to understand from our reality of who are we. When we question this within our minds from our perception of our mind of the inner standing to the outer standing of the understanding is that we perceive this reality to be from the conception the process of understanding through our minds and with that with that quantum entanglement through all time and space we pick up on different things as we um, align to the resonance of that energy through the conscious understanding of our understanding of ourselves of multi-dimensionality so these light codes that are coming through please don't disregard them because these will be igniting the understanding from a subconscious um, awakening um, process of understanding um, basically letting go of your amnesia of all of this information because we all know this okay but we just forgot it Thank you. We perceive the layers, um, layers of reality. So we perceive everything to be in dimensions. And we ha we have this sort of um, understanding of, yes, we're in this dimension. There is, um, you know, dimensions within the physicality of this reality. And then also hierarchy um perceived hierarchy of where we are at and what we're tapping into whether it's palladian arcturian and where do they sit in the reality and what planet am i from and all of that business that goes on as we start to remember who we truly are deeper 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 and then we then get a little bit confused because there's comparisons between this person and that person this and this and this and this and this and then the rise of the vibration and all of this bombardment of information that's coming forward but how does it sit personally with you from your own truth it is the bombardment and the connection to other sources of information and that of others which then formulate a sense of relationship so we relate to the understanding of ourselves as we bump a car up against another whether it's the elements of the universe within this planet or whether it's another soul that sits and stands by our side this entanglement comes in 
and it adjoins our energy with how we perceive ourselves to be with maybe a mirror that they present to us or whether there is a shadow within the interaction within within this outer sourcing of our reality as we look inside of ourselves which is the projection of the outward source into then the relativity between the inner world as it's projected and then the truth and the reality of somebody else's projection. This then intermingles and then brings us a sense of entanglement. I'm just seeing a beautiful friend of mine just out in the garden there as they wander down. And that entanglement with this particular soul that um, is somebody that I hold very, very dear to my heart is that when there is a, a connection from their reality, from their sight and their perception of the reality through their senses, the entanglement starts to come in. And this is where we then get our soul growth through the mirror of that person as we rise, as we rise through in vibrations either together or rising without them, is that the interaction, that everything that is outside of ourselves that we perceive is our reality is entangled with our own universe that we hold inside of ourselves. Thank you. So through the eyes, when I open my eyes, as I look into the camera, as I stare out and I see, I see the reality through the lens of the eye. But so we deepen into the inner standing of ourselves. We go deep into ourselves to enable us to connect to the heightened conscious state of being. This is the spiritual journey, the spiritual journey into the remembrance of who we are in our totality, that with everything that sits outside of ourselves, with the beautiful soul that just walked in the garden, as I interconnect with their energy, that we then start to blend our energies into these different relative realities. If we tap into a tree, we can start to communicate with the element of a tree, of the ground, of the air. Everything comes in together into oneness and can start to complete ourselves as we blend and distribute our understanding and entangle ourselves from the mesh of the distorted understanding of the reality. So what I'm trying to say is that it's just sort of like you're just starting to shift into the connection to all of the elements, the people, everything, and the multidimensionality throughout all time space because we're also looking at the quantum field. Okay. And as we see that there are these spirals of effects as we start to learn and grow and morph and change, we see our own development, our own light, our own dips, our own rises, our own um, uh, uh, um, depths of who we are starts to come into play. And then we see that then from um, our outer side. Thank you. It's like if we got a pair of binoculars and started looking outwardly across the land. If you if you go in with your lenses like this, at first it might be a little bit blurry and then we then start to adjust the lenses and then we see clearly the 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 um the distance through the lenses of the binocular. And this is what we do within this reality is yes, it is quite plain to see because we, we you know, because we see or we might wear glasses. <laughs> but what we're doing is that we can see things, but we need to tune into the reality of the vibration of everything that is around us. And once we can do that, once we then can actually connect the tree to the earth, to the elements, to other people, then we then start to understand the reality and then unpick and make a smooth line of the quantum entanglement and seeing the pathways of the entanglement to see that we are the connections to all that is 
And that then there's the depth of understanding within ourselves that then supersedes all understanding from the mind into tapping into high levels of consciousness. So, if you want to listen to the end of this video, please check in with my Patreon group. It'll be available from the love donation um, and the exclusive and the top tier. So, if you want to listen to the rest of the video that goes on into a little bit more detail or more exclusive information, then check out the link for Patreon, as I said, down below. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Um, um, to help you move through the understanding of your ascension process, please like and share, subscribe and all that beautiful stuff. And um, yeah, if you want to work with me, go to uh, www.nicolalight.com and I'll be there to assist you with understanding light language um, mentoring you through your ascension journey and if you've got any really sticky energy then come and join me um, in a healing one-to-one -one. Um, and from time to time I will be doing some group healings and I'm sure there'll be other things shifting from time to time with the work that I'm doing at the moment so thank you so much for joining me and take care everyone let all of those light codes integrate deeply into your system and that will awaken the remembrance of how to connect and disconnect from all that is that serves you and all that does that does not <laughs> take care everyone see you soon